breaking news welcome to today's headlines DSS told the military where ISWAP fighters were, but did nothing. Fanny Kaude says about Kujie attack. DSS told the military where ISWAP fighters were, but did nothing. Fanny Kaude says about Kujie, Kujie attack. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. A former minister of aviation, Femi Fanny Coyote, has reviewed in a video shared on his Twitter page that the DSS informed the military about the Kujie attack and nothing was done about it, Femi Panikayode said. Over the last one month, we have had a series of chaotic events in Nigeria. And this gives cause for concern and alarm. What are those events? Well, first of all, about a month ago, we had a situation whereby Atman and Itswap warriors, as some would call them, went to church in Owo and killed 50 people. Next week, about a week later, That is, three weeks ago, we had a situation where Israel warriors, bandits, they called them in some parts, attacked and killed no less than 90 people in Zamfara State. The next event, not too long after that, approximately one week or so ago, just over a week ago, in Niger State, Iswap stormed a community and killed no less than 45 people, 30 of them soldiers. And finally, just a few days ago, attacked Kujie prison, no less than 600 people, 300 of whom were recovered later and found and and found and of the 300 according to the Ministry of Defense over 60 of them were Boko Haram fighters As a matter of fact every single Boko Haram fighter in that facility was freed and has not been found ever since I know that facilities very well It was built by the British. I was locked up there for some time. And it's quite an extraordinary place. Now, the most disturbing thing about this is that there is an orchestration orchestration behind the whole thing. One month. All these events and countless others long before them. The interesting thing is when it came to the Kujie prison attack, the DSS informed the military about precisely what was going to happen and told the military where those boys were and nothing was done about it. The military ignored these warnings where those boys were hiding. They were left alone 
they were not routed out and they carried out the operation with immense precision. The fact that soldiers that were posted in that area were withdrawn 24 hours before this event took place. A former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fane Kayode, has revealed in a video shared on his Twitter page that DSS informed the military about the Kujel attack and nothing was done about it, Femi Fane Kayode said. Over the last one month, we have had a series of chaotic events in Nigeria. And this gives cause for concern and alarm. What are those events? Well, first of all, about a month ago, we had a situation whereby Atman and Iswap warriors, as some would call them, went to church in a war and killed 50 people. Next event. About a week later, that is three weeks ago, we had a situation where Iswap warriors, bandits, they called them in some part, attacked and killed no less than 90 people in Zamfara state. The next event, not too long after that, approximately one week or so ago, just over a week ago, in Niger state, Iswap stormed the community like killed no less than 45 people, title of them as soldiers. And finally, just a few days ago, attacked Kujé prison. No less than 600 people, 300 of whom were recovered later and found, and of the 300, according to the Ministry of Defense, over 60 of them were Boko Haram fighters. As a matter of fact, every single Boko Haram fighter in that facility was freed and has not been found ever since I know the facilities very well. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comments.